Hello, I'm Dr. Maya Hatton. If you're under the age of 45, breast cancer might be a distant thought. It's something that happens to other people, older people. But, well, let's talk statistics. In the United States, one in eight women will get breast cancer. Of those, one in 10 will be under the age of 45. I was one of them. I was 28 years old, just starting my residency, when I discovered a lump in my breast. The weeks that followed were scary, confusing, overwhelming. And of all the questions and thoughts running through my head, none were more persistent than, I'm too young for this to be happening. After my treatment, I decided to devote my career toward raising awareness about breast cancer under the age of 45, also known as early onset breast cancer. So first off, what makes early onset breast cancer different from other cancers? A few things set it apart. It's often hereditary, meaning it runs in your family. It's usually found at a later stage. It's generally more aggressive and more difficult to treat. And it's usually coupled with unique issues like, well, when I was going through my treatment, I joined a support group. And during our sessions, we talk about a lot of things, from body image to fertility issues to financial concerns and feelings of isolation. Now let's talk about risk. Everyone with breasts is at risk for developing breast cancer, but some things can increase your chance of developing early onset breast cancer. We call these things risk factors, and it's important to know what these risk factors are because it can allow you and your doctor to develop a plan that can help you prevent breast cancer or catch it early when it's easier to treat. So what are these risk factors? Family history. Meaning, if anyone in your family, parents, siblings, children, or other relatives on either your mother or your father's side was diagnosed with early-onset breast or ovarian cancer. Some people think only your maternal line counts, but actually any family history of breast cancer is important, especially if more than one relative was diagnosed or if a male relative had breast cancer. A genetic mutation is a change to certain genes which can be inherited. Having a genetic mutation, like in the BRCA or BRCA gene, increases your risk of developing hereditary breast and ovarian cancer, or HBOC. This means that the cancer is passed from generation to generation in a family. If you are of Ashkenazi Jewish descent, you have an increased chance of having a BRCA genetic mutation that increases your risk of breast cancer at a young age. African-American women under age 35 have breast cancer rates two times higher than white women of the same age. If you've had chest radiation before age 30, maybe for a condition like childhood cancer or Hodgkin's lymphoma, then you have a higher breast cancer risk. You're also at risk if you've had breast or ovarian cancer in the past, making it more likely to develop cancer a second time. Additionally, some non-cancerous breast diseases, such as atypical hyperplasia or lobular carcinoma in situ, are associated with a higher risk of getting breast cancer. Now, keep in mind that a risk is just that, a risk. It's a possibility. Falling into one of these categories does not guarantee what will happen. What's important is knowing your situation and being aware of the steps you can take to manage your risk. If any of these risk factors apply to you, Talk to your doctor so you can discuss your concerns and any next steps that need to be taken. For some tips on how to start that conversation, watch our video on talking to your doctor. And whether your risk is average or high, learn the ways you can help reduce your breast cancer risk and discover it early in our Risk Reduction and Warning Signs video.